Hi there, and welcome to another Color Finale 2 training video. In this video, I'll be running you through the new Color Finale version 2.1 release, showing you how to use the new features. Okay, let's get started. In the previous version 2 release of Color Finale 2, you could add mask layers to a clip, choosing to grade either the inside of the mask or the outside of the mask, but not both. In the version 2.1 release, you can now select a mask for a particular layer and grade both sides of the mask. Here's a hot air balloon clip. The aim is to make it look like it was shot in the evening. First we add the Color Finale plugin to the clip, then select the correct color space, which is log for this clip, adjust the contrast, then the color temperature to give it more of an evening look. Open the layers menu and create a group, as we'll be using masks with groups. This is useful as it allows you to add multiple layers to the group whilst using the same mask. We'll call this group Inside Mask. I want to grade the balloon and the background separately, so I'll create a shape around the balloon using the B-Spline mask. B-Spline is good for creating organic shapes, as you need very little adjustment to make a smooth, accurate shape. Two more points to complete the shape, and there you go. So that's our mask for the balloon. We can now adjust the density of the balloon without affecting the rest of the shot. Now let's create a group to grade the outside of the mask. To do this, we assign this group to use the inverse of the parent mask. You can see with this group, I can now control the area on the outside of the balloon mask. We can also create a mask on this specific layer inside the group. Here I'm adding an edge mask to the area outside the balloon in order to add a gradient and darken the sky. So that's the finished grade. You can see if I toggle the individual mask layers how this shot is created, and if I toggle the whole grade on and off, you can see the before and after shots. This next new tool is called Image Mask. This tool allows you to use a copy of the clip you're grading to create a tonal mask of itself, enabling you to selectively adjust the midtones. I'm going to show two grading functions using the Image Mask tool. This one is split toning, a common photographic technique. I'm going to use Image Mask to create a two-tone image from a black and white rendition. I'll bring up the Layers panel and select the Telecine Color Wheels, which I'm going to use to create a black and white image. I'll name this layer, Remove Color. Next, I'm going to add a group inside a group. The first group will control Color Tone 1, and the second group will control Color Tone 2, using an inverse of the image mask. On the Remove Color layer, I'll reduce the saturation to zero to create the black and white look. Then, I add a mask to the Tone 1 group, and select Image Mask as the mask type. On this layer, I'll adjust the black and white sliders of the image mask to make the tonal changes more pronounced. Then, I'll add curves to the Tone 1 group and generate a yellow-orange look by reducing the blue and green curves and increasing the red curve. Next, I add curves to the Tone 2 group using the same parent image mask, but I'll invert it so it affects everything other than the Tone 1 group. Then I create a blue-teal look by reducing the red and green curves. And there you have a two-tone effect using Image Mask. I'm going to use the Image Mask tool to make regular linear video look more cinematic by adding or enhancing local contrast. Here's a central London clip. I'm going to add the Color Finale 2 plugin to it, and select the correct color management by choosing Assume Video. Next, I'll bring up the Layers panel and add a Telecine Curves layer. I'll add a mask to this layer and select Image Mask which will use the tonal distribution of the image to drive the mask. Then I'm going to blur this mask. This will then control my shadows. Image mask doesn't break the shadows, as other masking techniques might. Instead, it nicely wraps the shadows around the detailed areas. Next, I'll add a yellow tinge to the shadows. Notice that I haven't crushed the blacks of this tool. I'm simply adding shadow details to the areas you'd expect to see them in. Lastly, I'll balance the effect using the gain control. So that's local contrast using Image Mask. As you can see, it creates a gorgeous cinematic effect, even on standard linear video. Color Finale 2 has had a sharpness or detail enhancing tool since its launch in December last year. The algorithm behind this tool works differently to most detail enhancement tools and uses modern image processing techniques. If I adjust the sharpness on this image, you can see how it creates a perception of detail enhancement, but importantly, looking at the parade scope, without changing the contrast. 
which is really what you want. In the version 2.1 release, I can now take the sharpness slider negative, and in doing so add softness to an image. I can do this for the whole image, or by using masks, I can add softness to just part of the image, for example, a face. This is another example of Color Finale 2 saving users from having to buy a separate softness plugin. With version 2 launching, Color Finale 2 would disable the Final Cut Pro 10 hotkeys. So, in Color Finale version 2.1, we've enabled all Final Cut Pro 10 hotkeys to work as normal. I hope this video was useful. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. Be sure to also check out our website and Facebook group and page. Thanks for watching.